Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step installation and implementation of YOLO V7. So guys, recently two YOLO V7 models have been released. One YOLO V7 model is uh, official YOLO V7 model and which can perform object detection. And the other YOLO V7 model is a model which can perform multiple tasks like object detection, image segmentation, and panoptic segmentation. And their repo is, uh, they are still working on it. They are improving that model more and more. So today I'll show you this second YOLO V7 model, which is based on Detectron 2 and it accepts the data in the format of COCO dataset format. So as I've told you that this model, this YOLO V7 model is based on uh, Detectron 2. That means we need to install Detectron 2 to run this YOLO V7. Now I'll show you the step-by-step -step installation first. Okay, so guys, uh, for this, I always recommend to create a separate environment. So I have also created a separate environment using Anaconda and I'm using Python 3.8 for it. So after creating your Anaconda environment, then uh, make sure that you have installed CUDA and compatible CU DNN version. So the CUDA version which I am using is 11.1 .1, and then install PyTorch. Your Torch should be, when, when, when you install your Torch version, make sure that it is CUDA compatible. So I have installed a PyTorch version 1.8.1 with CUDA 11.1, okay? So now, after that, what you need to do is, in this notebook, you can see, first of all, I'm checking the uh, Torch version. So my PyTorch version is this and CUDA is 11.1, okay? After that, we are cloning a YOLO V7 repo because Detectron 2, we will install the Detectron 2 inside a YOLO V7 because Detectron 2, um, YOLO V7 is using the code of Detectron 2. Some of the code they are using, they have, uh, some of the code is new, some of the code they are using from that Detectron 2. So inside this YOLO V7 uh, folder, we will install the Detectron 2. So that's why we are cloning the YOLO V7 repo first, okay? So which uh, GitHub repo we are cloning? This, okay? So guys, this GitHub repo is the repo which is based on Detectron 2, okay? And it can perform multiple tasks. And recently, uh, they have given one migration warning also. Recently, they said like they will move their code to YOLO VN link, right? So because of this name conflict, they will uh, migrate their code to this link soon, okay? So we are using the code of this GitHub repo. So we have cloned this GitHub repo. Once you clone this GitHub repo, you will get this YOLO V7 folder, okay? Inside this YOLO v7 folder, we will perform the rest of the task. Now, what is next? Next task is to clone the GitHub repo of Detectron 2. Okay, where we are cloning? Inside this YOLO v7 folder. Now, let me show you that. So, inside this YOLO v7, we have a Detectron 2 uh, GitHub repo. Okay, now, next thing is to install this github repo uh, to install detectron 2 so this is the command to install the detectron 2 and if you successfully performed it you will get the output like this this kind of uh, last few lines will be like this okay so when you will successfully install this detectron 2 after that you will get this build folder and inside this build folder you'll get files like this okay now our detectron 2 is successfully installed now okay guys uh, before running this command uh, i'm sorry i missed two two steps before running this command you need to install pycoco tools and you need to install cython and you will install pywin32 module also okay so these are the things you need to install now our detectron 2 is installed next step is to install this alfred pi module and this 
NB NB module. Okay, we can simply install them by using pip install. Okay, now we have uh, installed all the required modules. Now we can run our YOLO v7 model. Now let's go back to this YOLO v7 and let me show you to how to prepare the data set, right? Where to put your data set and what are the changes we need to do. So inside this data sets folder, guys, if this data set folder is available, then you can work under it. Otherwise create data sets folder inside your data set folder, put your data set folder over here. So you can see I have three different data sets. So in my today's class, I'll sh I'm showing you this one car damage data set. So in my today's uh, class I am building an object detector which will detect the the uh, area on our cars the cars uh, from where those cars are damaged okay we, we are doing this task so inside this you can see we have train well and test these folders inside train we have training images and the corresponding uh, uh, annotation and these annotations are in Coco dataset format. So guys, this dataset is not very big. So this is just for a demo purpose. Okay. In the same way, inside your val folder, we have validation images and this is the corresponding uh, annotation file, which is in Coco dataset format. So this is how you'll place your dataset. Now we have our dataset over here. After that, open this configs folder. Inside your config folder, create one folder. So as I have created this, right? So create one folder, name it. And then inside that folder, you can see, see from where I got this YML file. So I have clicked here and from here I have picked that file. Okay. So you can uh, pick um, different type of configuration files from here. So the one I have picked is this one okay let me open it and show you now here you can see number of classes are one so in this data set there is only one class a uh, car is damaged or not damaged okay so i have one class and here you can see these two functions now let me show you where these functions are what these functions are so for that you need to do uh, let me tell you what you need to do so when you uh, clone this github repo now you'll get one file with this name train custom data set just create another copy so i have created another copy and i gave it a name this my yeah, this one okay so i renamed it now i'm showing you this file so what i have done in that file so i have registered my data set so guys, whenever you work on any data set, you have to register that data set first. So that's what I'm doing. This is the path of my root directory. So car inside data sets folder, we have a car damage data set folder. Okay. And now this is the path of training images. This is the path of validation images. This is the um, uh, path over here we are accessing the um, uh, json file the annotation file which stores uh, the annotations of training data and this is the annotation file uh, of validation data okay and by using these two lines we are registering our data set registering our function and these are the names of this function this can be anything so i have given these names damage train and damage well now these two functions you have to mention over here damage train and damage well okay so we have mentioned these things over here we have mentioned the class also and guys you can change the number of epochs from here if you want and this is the output directory after when you start the training this is where your output will get stored so you can uh, you know output is the folder inside the output folder will have another folder and inside this folder you will have your um, all the trained models weights okay so again you can re, uh, use any name over here so this is our configuration files okay so we have config we have done the configurations we have made changes in this file also now we will run this file like this let me show you here 
okay not this one here so how we have trained you can see here python this is the file right you have to give the config file so where is our config file in configs folder we have this folder inside this this is a config file remember so this is the config file we have so it is in config folder car damage data set and over here okay so we are using that and provide the gpu detail when you will train it okay i'll start the training but i have already trained it so let me show you the output when you will train it after that inside this output folder you will get a folder like this when you will open it you will see the models like this so this is the final model right so now using this model and this is the config file so guys while making detections we will use this config file and we will use this model to test our model okay so now using these two files we will test our model so let me show you how so now we are testing our model here okay so let me see if that image is available over there so it is in test images input this image is in test images slash so it will take few seconds and you can see it is detecting the result so this is the damaged area and our algorithm predicted it okay so now how we have done that so you can see from the output folder config file from where we are using the config file from the output folder from this and this is the config file which we got while training and then this is the input image on which we want to work right and then this is the confidence for how much confidence uh, you want to work threshold value and then this is the model weights where our model weights are inside the output folder we have this folder and this model final dot path so this this is our weight file okay so we are using this and it worked now guys if you want to work on a folder I, right now i've just uh, explained you how to work on a single image let's suppose you have a folder and inside that folder you have multiple images and you want to work on all the images then what you'll do in input the folder name so this is a folder name and uh, when you'll execute this command it is one by one it will work on detect images um, detect objects on all the images of that folder okay so this is how it works guys i will share this um, i'll share the github link you can try this code and i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching